Ouwe, Phil Collins. Uh, Phil Collins is absolutely amazing. Have you got some free tickets? Yeah, I love Phil Collins. He's not here. He's singing and he's uh, drumming. He's a bit of a legend, lots of dads like him. Dad rock and uh, the guitar. I can't remember the band he's in, though. He was in Genesis, wasn't he? A band called Genesis. He plays the drums. Uh, Candle in the Wind. No, that was out with John. <laughs> was that Candle in the Wind? Yeah. yeah. Oh, all right, cool. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Come on. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Oh, Lord. Do 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 We did a long tour in 1977, and that the result of that was my marriage breaking up. And um, I went through all the things of trying to make it work, but uh, by the time I came back from Canada, Mike and Tony were doing their solo albums, and so I had some time on my hands, and I just bought, a we'd all bought home studios, so I started to fiddle about. I can feel it. I took over the master bedroom, you know, moved everything out and put my studio in there. And it wasn't soundproofed and it wasn't, ele you know, there was clicks and buzzes. If the fridge went on or the phone rang, you heard it. I can't remember the specific day of In The Air Tonight, but I mean, it, literally I was, I had a, a really nice local pub that I had friends in and I was going through a bit of a hard time and so I'd go down there and have a few drinks and talk and laugh and then come back ready to work, you know. I had no one to answer to. I mean, you know, I, I had a wife and two children and two dogs and, and I didn't have anything suddenly, you know. So it was like, um, you know, a lot of time on my hands. I was angry, I was miserable, I was sad, you know, I was depressed about not having my family around. I mean, I was constantly on the phone to her and the phone kept going down and, you know, we argued a lot and uh, as, as people do when they go through that kind of thing. The lyrics were all improvised. I don't know what it's about, you know, which, which is, you know, the more people say to me what it's about, I just say, I can promise you it isn't about whatever you think it is, because I don't know what it's about. There's a lot of anger in there, I think. Um, but it, I didn't really ever intend it to be that way. It's just spontaneous lyrics, so I guess I wasn't afraid to show my feelings. <laughs> Seals. That's what it sounds like. On the original demo, the drums just come in. I, I recorded some drums at my house, and they just come, you know, all been a pack of lies. I can feel it coming. The drums just enter. But of course, you know, drummers always busy themselves. So by the time we got into recording it, I just did a fill into it, you know. Da, 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 da. I mean, like the, the take before would have been something different, and the take after, if I'd have done another take, would have been something different again. It just, it just, we decided to keep that take, and it happened to have that drum fill on it. And, uh, you know, it's just become what I'm known for, but, uh, but it was real luck. Yeah. <laughs> My ex-wife 
I got very mad when I wrote this album because um, she felt I was capitalising on it, on the sadness, you know. A lot of people, including my ex-wife, were very uh, surprised that I actually could say that kind of thing, but to me that's what writing songs you know, is all about.